Hey guys, just finished watching a video about the guys that are queuing outside the Apple store for eight days to get the latest uh, Apple i what is it, uh, iPhone 5S is it? Eight days, eight days of living like a homeless person <laughs> on this, how boring, how boring would that be? Eight days, that's like torture. It's, it's like, it'd be like being in jail, being in the same place for eight days. But again, every time there's a new, they all do it. I, you know, Apple do it. Uh, everybody does it, don't they? Microsoft, they, anytime there's a new product coming out, they do limited releases at limited stores because they want this. They want all the media to be reporting. So it means that already the media is reporting, uh, on these people. So that, that video is actually a couple of days old. So 20th, 20th of September, they release it. So it means that, that here we are eight days or here they were eight days before the release and already the media are talking about it. And it's, it, it obviously it builds the hype, doesn't it? It builds the hype so that, so that it's in the media, it's in the media, everybody wants this. And it's the sheep mentality, isn't it? It's a sheep mentality. Interestingly, Interestingly, this works all the time in Japan. Uh, we see it all the time here. Shops will actually uh, employ people and do and give people free stuff to get them to queue outside their stores when they open a new store. Because in Japan, if people see people queuing, they automatically go and see why, because they think there must be something good. Uh, or equally, in, in Japanese convenience stores, they have magazine racks at the at the window. So when you drive past the convenience store or walk past, the magazine racks are just inside the window and they allow people to stand there and read them, which means that when you look into the store from the outside, you can see people standing just inside the window reading magazines. And they do it because it gives the impression of being busy. And Japanese people like it to be busy, like overly busy. And restaurants, you know, with big queues outside, they love it. And people will queue. And we've talked about on the Japan channel before, we've talked about people in Japan queuing for hours to get into a place that sells shaved ice. Because that place is famous for shaved ice. And particularly, they'll, they'll put it on the news sometimes. They'll have little stories on television sometimes about some place that makes amazing fish or amazing eel or amazing something else. And, and they'll say that, you know, people queue for hours to buy this because it's so amazing. And then everybody wants to go there. So they go there knowing that they're going to have to queue it for a few hours. It's because it gives them the feeling of excitement that something's really popular and that they're going to get some of whatever the popular thing is, you know. Whereas I think a lot of people would just look at that and go, no, I'm not queuing for two hours to get shaved ice. I'll go to that other shop that sells shaved ice and not wait at all. It might not be exactly as good as that one, but it'll be close, you know. And it's interesting, isn't it? So in Japan, that, that mentality is really strong. But obviously, in every country, there's some people that are attracted by that. Because, you know, eight days outside the Apple store, which is just absolutely incredible. And, and a couple of things about this. One is, obviously, with, with Apple and Microsoft and all the other people that do the same game, you know, Toshiba and PSP, PlayStation and all those guys, when they release new games and things that they do the same thing don't they they release limited numbers from limited stores to cause that big lineup of people uh, because they know that people are like sheep not everybody but a lot of people are like sheep and automatically will head there but but the ridiculous thing about it that, that just always leaves me scratching my head about this is is that they want to sell as many as possible so it's not like it ever runs out you know, it's like all, it's like whenever they sell, you know, anything, you know, chocolate or television sets or anything, and they say limited time only, you know, some limited sale, limited time only. Um, and sometimes it's true. They sell at a special price, something for a special price for a limited time only. But things like iPhones, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing particularly special about the first ones that they sell. And they're going to make sure that they manufacture enough of them that everybody can buy one. And you know how it works. The iPhone is such a funny one because they, they bring out a new one every, what, every year? And every year it's the same. And these guys queue and they get one and they're cool for a week because they can show their friends, look, I've got an iPhone 5S. 
and their friends will go, oh, cool. And then one month later, everybody's got an iPhone 5S and it's like, you know, yeah, so what, so why? So they queue for eight days, 24 hours a day for eight days, just so they can be cool for a week until their friends all get one, you know, or a few days, depending on how long it takes their friends to get one, and then their friends will have one and they're not so cool anymore. And then six months later, it's an old phone, isn't it? You know, oh, it's the old 5S, yeah. Remember 4, iPhone 4, remember what a big fuss? Same thing, anybody that's an iPhone 4 now is a very passe, isn't it? So it's a funny, it's a funny thing. I mean, how boring would your life have to be to be able to sacrifice eight days of your life living like a homeless person? Worse than a homeless person, homeless people can move around. They can go down the park and move around, you know. They're sitting on the footpath in a line for eight days to be cool for, what, two or three days, you know. And then everybody can buy one. You know, a week later, and iPhones and things like that, usually there's not a special offer at the start, is there? You know, like it's, a week later, everybody can buy exactly the same phone. It's a bizarre thing, isn't it? It's just incredible sometimes. It, it seems to be so obvious how companies can manipulate people, you know, and get them thinking the way they want them thinking and program them. And clever words, you know, recently I've been really aware of this, the way they use clever words to manipulate people. And on this channel recently criticised YouTube for something. And any time you criticise one of these technology companies or say something like this video, there's always a small number of people who get really upset about it and, and, and make, you know, oh, they're a great company, you shouldn't say that about them, which is quite incredible because these companies are all about making money. Look, not to say that, you know, Apple and Microsoft and all those guys make some fantastic stuff. They really do. But they're companies about making money. That's what they're about. And they use lots of clever, emotive words to manipulate people into lots of emotions, you know. But they're just selling stuff. They're just selling stuff. They're not selling, they're not saving people's lives with this shit. They're just selling us gizmos and gadgets. And then next year they'll sell a different one that's better. So, but yeah, they really mess with people's heads, don't they? Enough that they can get someone to stand there for eight days on a street, and, or not just one person, but a whole bunch of them, but, but also get people really emotional. You know, people get really emotional and, oh, you know, you shouldn't criticise that company, they're a good company. And what did someone say in a video, I didn't read comments recently? Oh, someone made a comment recently saying that, you know, you're suggesting that, 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 that Google always have an ulterior motive. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I was. Of course they do. When they sit around their meetings, the goal of every meeting is how they can improve improve money, their income. It's all about money. And even if they have another agenda at the time, it's still all about money. You know, it, it, it always comes back to the money. The, the, if they're trying to do some big promotional thing and we'll go and we'll have this big special day where we'll give jumping castles and give away fairy floss. There's still going to be an agenda, and the agenda is going to be somehow get new customers, make more money. It's always what it comes back to. Anybody that works for Apple or or Google or one of the big companies and sits at a meeting and says, "I've got an idea, let's do this," and 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 the end result of that thing isn't making money, they'll say, "Why would why, why would we do that? You know, why would we do that? Are we going to make any money from that? No. Why would we do it? You know." It's all it's all about, obviously, which is fine. It's what gives us all our good products, you know. I'm not criticising capitalism or anything else. It's just, it's just a, incredible how good the big companies have got at messing with people's heads, you know, to, to get them to queue for eight days to buy a phone that's going to be, everyone's going to have a week later, and, and six months later it's going to be old news. You know, and they're all the same. The games are the same. You know, they bring out 3DS. Wow, 3DS! Let's queue for a few days to get a 3DS. You know? Everyone's got a 3DS now. Who hasn't got a 3DS? <laughs> so, uh, uh. just when I get things like this, I always feel like I need to make a video about stuff like this because I want to put my hand up and say, I can see it. You know, when, I, when, when big companies are messing with our heads, um, I can't just sit quietly and just pretend that you know I'm not noticing. I, I, I want to say, hey, look, they're messing with our heads and draw attention to it or put my hand up and so I can see it. 
and give other people a chance to put their hands up and say, I can see it too. That actually feels better when a few other people say, hey, I can see it too. It's like, oh, good, okay, good. Because sometimes it's like being one of those weird sci-fi movies. You know those weird sci-fi movies where, you know, everybody's a robot and everybody's being programmed with the, everybody's taking the pill. What was that one? Everybody had to take the pill and one guy stopped taking the pill and started to see everything for what it is. You know what I mean? And sometimes life can be like that, can't it? Where you can see something, it's really freaking obvious and everybody else just doesn't seem to be able to see it. Let's go and queue for the new iPhone. Let's stand on the street for eight days. It's like, dude, dude, they're messing with your head. <laughs> dude, dude, hey, dude, they're messing with your head, dude. You know, just sit at home, watch TV for a week, and then you can go buy it at the shop. And hello, you know. Nah, he can't see it. He's been taking the, taking the tablet. <laughs> he takes the tablet every day. He goes and queues for the iPhone. It's just, it's feels like that sometimes, doesn't it? Everybody's all programmed. And then when someone does get all emotional in the comment section, you shouldn't criticize Apple, they're a wonderful company, and whoa, you know, whoa, dude, you know, dude, taking that tablet, you know. <laughs> hey, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, can anyone else, anyone else, anyone else out there not taking the tablet? Can anyone else see, out there see that the people that are queuing up for eight days are puppets? They're, they're doing free promotion. That's what they're doing by being out there on the street because for, for eight days, the, the media and just Joe Public walking past, everybody's saying, what are they doing there? And, oh, they're queuing for the new iPhone. Oh, really? You know? So basically all the people that queue there for eight days or three days or two days or one day are basically all working for Google, uh, working for Apple for free, aren't they? They're all doing a free promotion for Apple, f for free. And in fact, at the end of that time, they're going to finally open the shop doors and those people are all going to walk inside and give Apple money. <laughs> Thanks for letting me stay on the street for eight days to buy this phone. Here's my money. <laughs> they, should, they should give them phones for free for queuing like that, but anyway. At least eight days, Jesus! I'd want, I'd want, I'd want a lot of free phones to queue for eight days on the street. That's a lot of time, twenty-four hours a day. Anyway, I can see it. I didn't take my Apple tablet today. My Apple tablet. I didn't take the pill. I didn't take the Apple pill. I can see what's happening. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anybody? Anybody? More videos. Coming soon.